uh, Cloud, and uh, we're going to talk to Cloud Bit, which is the IT group, IT division within Cloud, which is a hundred different companies. Um, the CIO slash CEO Yo Yossi Yan is uh, is joining us. Yossi is to my far left, and then Haim Enger is the CTO of of Cloud Bit. Now, as I said, Cloud is the second largest insur insurance company in yes. Israel, and Cloud Bit is the IT group division within Cloud that services a hundred different companies within that group. organization. Um, so welcome. Welcome to theCUBE, appreciate it. Now, you, you, know, so you were telling me offline that um, it's a common model in Israel that a, an IT uh, group division is a sort of separate entity and services the many companies or, or multiple companies within that conglomerate, um, uh, which is a little different than it is in the US. Oftentimes, so that, that may or may not be the case. A lot of times it's very much embedded. Talk about that a little bit. What's that, that model like? Well, we're working on a yearly, maybe multiple year budget with a specific project to every company. And the decision is made by the board of the company. And then we are uh, uh, following a specific budget to every project during the year, or if it's a multi-year project, then we are working on a multi-year budget. Um, the way is that actually we have an accountant that follow the budget and the um, uh, the projects and monitor ev in every month. So time and budget will be uh, exact as uh, as planned. So um, how large is Cloud? Cloud is um, less than five thousand employees and about the same number of brokers, independent brokers that are working for us all over the country. We have uh, two daughter company, one in the uh, US and one in England. And uh, we are dealing with the life, long, life insurance, elementary insurance, uh, investing, investment house, health insurance, and so on. So very much a diversified insurance company. You're essentially, you're in financial services, you're in health insurance, um, uh, 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 quite different disciplines. Yes. The, uh, you service the agent community as well, is that right? Yes, we are supplying uh, the IT system for the brokers, for the agents, and they're all connected to our computer system. So what are the big apps? I mean, obviously claims is going to be a big apps, and you got, I'm sure you got HR and other things. So talk about the application portfolio a little well, bit, what's in there. Well, we have, uh, of course, the claims claims management for different uh, uh, version of uh, of uh, insurance, uh, which is very unique. We've implemented uh, it on uh, SAP technology. Actually, I think that we've been the first all over the, the the world to implement it. But this is this was before my time. Uh, we have uh, an application that is. Uh, um, uh, on the uh, broker's uh, office that they can do actually most of the, the work until a page, uh, um, uh, customer gets his policy. Actually, they are working on, working on our IT system. So that's the agent system, very important obviously because it keeps sales yes. going. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, so those are a couple of examples. All right, so um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, your, your IT environment, virtualization, um, you, you've got SAP, you mentioned. You got Oracle applications as well? Right. Uh, okay. How much of your environment is, uh, is virtualized? Well, we actually have uh, almost, uh, we actually have almost uh, a little bit more than uh, 1,000 servers, and uh, only two servers are now physical. Uh, we are waiting for the next release of uh, VMware in, uh, in order to virtualize those two also. So for my calcula last calculation, it's 99.9998, something like that. <laughs> four nines. Yeah. You're four nines virtualized, which yeah. of course, if that were your availability figure, you'd be in big trouble, but if you're virtualized, that's a good number. Yeah. And that's the, that's the physical hardware. How about the application portfolio? What percent of that is virtualized? Well, actually, everything runs on uh, virtualized uh, servers. That's SAP, 
that uh, we have a symbol from uh, Oracle. Uh, all of our uh, Oracle databases, all of our SQL databases, uh, even we even have very old legacy applications. We, are, we have an application that was migrated from a Unisys mainframe into MicroFocus COBOL running on top of Red Hat Linux over VMware. So that's 1960 uh, technologies running on the f uh, 21st uh, century technology. Is, is Oracle um, friendlier toward VMware in, in Israel than it is in the uh, United States? Or, uh, uh, or is there a lot of this going on? And no, <laughs> there, there's a lot of this going on, but uh, in their favor I could say that when I do open a case uh, for any technical problem, they do not ask me if it's virtualized or not. They just solve it. And uh, we did a little technical uh, thing by, uh, I don't know how, how technical you want me to get. Get as technical as you like. Uh, in order to uh, uh, prevent a case in the future when they tell me that, okay, that database is on an, uh, a virtual system and I can, they cannot support it, uh, all of our Oracle databases are running on VMware, but using an RDM file system on VMAX uh, machines. And I left one physical server with the Oracle installed on it, just standing there, doing nothing. In, in any case, that Oracle support will tell me, okay, we cannot solve this uh, problem because that database is on a virtual server. I will have to, t in a few seconds, I can move it into th that physical machine the problem will probably reappear and they have to solve it over there. But uh, I don't get uh, the, the state of mind of Oracle why do they don't declare like uh, Microsoft did that they simply support Oracle on VMware. Well, um, I'll give you my perspective is because Oracle wants to own the world. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Microsoft does too, but I yeah. don't know. So, um, Okay, but so the, obviously the, or the sales guys don't want you to do this, and that's understandable, you can mm -hmm. understand that, but you're saying the support is, is excellent. And Oracle has good support organization, and so. Um, now, Yossi, did, 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 you must have been involved in the original uh, decision to go down this path to virtualization. Um, talk about the business case. You know, why did you start on this journey to the, to the private cloud?